Hi guys, this is Desmond coming to you with a breakdown for cable as we enter the beginning of another trading week. So I just wanted to quickly remind you of the key daily levels that we are looking at from the daily time frame before we break down to the lower time frames to get a deeper look into how price action is moving. So we've got this daily level around 121 and we've got another daily level around 127.45. All we can see from the daily time frame is that price has been forming lower lows and lower highs. But price um, forming a high here, a low, a lower high, a lower low, a lower high, and actually breaking this previous low um, on the close last week. So you can see price is firmly um, now below both the 200 and the 50 exponential moving average. Also outlining that sort of overall bearish sentiment that we are seeing in the market at present. If we drop down onto the four hourly time frame, what I've outlined is the sort of key four hourly zones um, that we are looking at. So we've got this zone in around this region here and another zone here. Now what we were looking at last week is um, going into Friday with price, um, coming in to test this hourly um, level of um, previous support, now acting as resistance and looking at price moving down into this support zone. Now we have actually seen price um, complete and come in to test that support level around 123.35. Since then, we have seen sterling gain um, somewhat coming into the opening of the week. Um, but we are still sitting around that four hourly zone of um, previous support. We can also see that between the 50 exponential moving average and the 200 the distance between those two moving averages is starting to um, reduce and that's sort of showing that the bullish um, sort of momentum that we are seeing in this region here is starting to come to an end. But if we do start to see the cross between the 200 and the 50 exponential moving average, then that's going to give us further um, confirmation and confluence for a sort of bearish, overall bearish sentiment um, on this market. Now dropping down to the hourly time frame. What we can currently see, you know, price um, pulling into this region and it's starting to fall lower. And this is what we were looking at on Friday, potentially price coming in to test at least 123.80, um, which, you know, buyers, we did see price coming to test that level. We did see an hour um, where buyers attempted to push price up but we had the sellers re-enter the market and price continued down um, low to actually break this previous break and close below this previous low. Now going into today, I will be potentially looking at um, price potentially returning back down to this level. This would be the sort of level I'd be looking at in terms of support. In terms of resistance, key levels for me would remain this zone um, between 120 431 to around 124.46. We also have price, you know, currently testing and holding beneath this 50 exponential moving average. If we bring on the pivot points, we can currently see that price is just above that pivot level. Um, and we have R1 around 124.10, whilst we have S1 around 122.88. Now, fundamentally, fundamentally, what are we looking at? Um, we've got PM Johnson vowing to spend big on hospitals, schools and roads to jumpstart the Britain economy on the back of coronavirus. And eyes will be turning to the meetings that are set to hold between top negotiators um, from the EU and the UK. In addition to that, we do have um, cases continuing to surge in the US as COVID-19 cases surpass 2.5 million and Florida cases um, and infections are up by 6.4%. We do have some data coming up today, so we will have pending home sales being released from the US. We will also see Governor Bailey speaking later on today. So that's going to be it from me, guys, in terms of cable. I will be looking at um, targets around or support around this level here, around 123.15. Um, I do think this is a key swing level where we could start to see sellers potentially stepping in if price holds at this 50 exponential moving average. If price breaks above this level, 
then the next key level will be in this zone here where we have the 200 simple moving average as well. Thank you and do have a great trading day.